You know, ladies and gentlemen, I really hate to get all kinds of political and shit on this channel. I know we're a gaming stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, this is something that does affect my gaming, ladies and gentlemen. And especially if you're also a Rainbow Six Siege player like me, or hell if you play any video game like I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I watched an episode of South Park not too long ago, like just last night, called Banned in China. That actually ended up getting their show fucking banned in China because it chose to question the uh, government. And because of that, their entire show got wiped out by the Great Firewall in literally minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at a day and age where just criticizing anything in this country can get you locked out of all the money and all the opportunity this land has to offer. And I'm totally okay with that. Now, let's just get this started. Now, this is not new for me. I, I've had this issue in my head for a long time, over a year. If you've been a Rainbow Six Siege player like I've been, you remember the times when the Chinese government had to actually detail censor guidelines for Rainbow Six Siege. These guidelines were awful. These guidelines basically said removing skulls from the video games because, um... The, those are the, those could t th those talk about death in a game that's all about killing people to win rounds. Uh, oh God, uh, remove knives from the game because knives you kill and you kill people, even though it's a game about killing people to win rounds. Uh, what what else is there? Oh yeah, uh, let's change the operators' faces because they have skulls on them, even though the operators put bullets in your head to win rounds. You get the point that I'm trying to make, right? Censoring pointless shit. Uh, because the government really wants you to. Now, it was so bad that we wondered if this shit's gonna come across to our side, and luckily it didn't. While the sensors are in place in China, they don't affect anywhere else. So if you play Rainbow Six Siege in, in anywhere else but China, you should be able to see blood and knives, you know, like a fucking 18 plus game should. But everything else is not so lucky. Uh, if you look at movies, slowly but surely, I work in media, I know this all the time, catering to Chinese censors is a huge deal. If you criticize anything in the party, you're losing out on a ton of money that comes in from the Chinese mainland, and that's a lot of money that you're losing. If you look at movies nowadays, especially like big Disney, like blockbuster movies, a lot of their money gets made in Chinese box offices. For some reason, they love it. We might think a movie like Warcraft is shit, but for the Chinese, they'll eat that shit up and they'll watch it to the end of days. And just premiering over there makes a shit ton of money, more money than they probably spent on the movie entirely. So this is a question of them making a far substantial amount of revenue than they ever could have made on our side of the world. Now, Activision Blizzard is one of those companies, and Activision in general, I'm completely boycotting after this bullshit, is uh, they have this game called Hearthstone. You might have heard of it, trading card game. During their finals, one of their players had actually screamed out, uh, liberate Hong Kong, basically defying the government in, in, in a pretty badass way. So regardless, after defying the government, three things happened, three big things. The dude got banned for a fucking year by Blizzard, lost his entire prize pool, which is like 10 grand, and uh, even the casters, yes, the people who had nothing to do with the situation, that literally sat there and had to hear it all in their head, we're also fucking banned from future events. Ladies and gentlemen, the most off, the most out there banning, all done immediately. Now, why do you think this happened? Well, 5% of Activision Blizzard is owned by Tencent Holdings. If you don't know who Tencent is, these are Chinese game developers or a Chinese tech giant that pretty much has their dick in everything. If they can buy, what this is like China, this is like almost Disney caliber. They can buy whatever they want. They have that much money to go around. Because they own 5%, that's a pretty substantial stake, enough for them to raise some hullabaloo in the company. So what made Activision Blizzard decide to not stand with their people, not stand with the ideas of, 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 of a free country, the ideas of, of promoting free values? Well, it's, it's just money is what it is. That's what it comes down to. Look, the Chinese people are fucking great. They're awesome, nice people. The government is like a richer version of North Korea. If you go against what they say, you're pretty much knocked out of line. And it's one of the things that I always strive to talk about and defend because what I do on this channel, what a lot of other people do on YouTube or Twitch or around the world, is done because we operate in a country that is are challenging for freedoms. It's a country that allows us for freedom. It's it's what we fight for every single day. The moment anybody takes a single freedom away from us, we, we raise a pretty big deal. 
But unfortunately for people in China, the citizens in China, it's actually a pretty scary fucking place. The, if you don't have a VPN in China, the Great Firewall blocks you from any information that you could get about the outside world. It blocks you from any form of free thinking. And the people there have to live in complete fear because anything that can criticize their government or their party can land these people in jails far worse than anything we can imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, like, this is some gulag territory that these people are entering in. And once you go into a Chinese prison, you're not getting out safe and sound. You're not getting out, period. Hell, your family might even join you if they try poking around too much. And I'm glad that there's people who will talk about this. I'm glad that there's people who will raise some form of stink because it goes beyond just censoring my video game or my movie. I could kind of care less about that. If it means standing up to a fucking bully that gets in your way and tells you what you can and what you cannot do, fuck the bully, okay? Fuck the money at this point. And I mean it, okay? Money's great to a certain extent. You can have enough money and be fine for your life. But once you get to that certain point, where not only do you have a lot of money, but you now have to cater to some big bully telling you what the fuck to do, is when you should just sit back, relax, and say, you know what, I could do with a couple hundred million dollars less if it means me having the fucking balls to say what I want, me having the ability to, to think how I want instead of somebody constantly coming in and telling me to censor my shit. And I stand with game developers who, who challenge that. I'm not saying don't cater your stuff for China, don't you know, fill your, don't, don't rework stuff, but do it kind of how you've already done Germany and Australia, I guess, right? Cater to their needs. Sure. You can't change the government overnight, but don't affect the rest of the fucking free world because one country just always constantly wants their way. I know that they're one of the biggest markets in the world, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you can to push them out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not, this, this is no joke anymore. All right. These people are con the government over there in China is constantly getting out of their way to censor the shit out of everyone else in the world. You know, removing some dude's prize pool. Yeah, that's shitty to do. But it's just one of the many things that these uh, that, that their government is going to do through their third party or like private enterprise into the world outside. So, yeah, you know what? At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, fuck Activision and fuck Blizzard for standing by this bullshit. I'm not going to buy any more of their games. I've already canceled my Modern Warfare pre-order. I've already stopped playing most Blizzard games. I'm not going to get into Diablo 3. Fuck any of that shit. I'm not going to give these guys any more support, any more money. I'm not going to be a blip on their server anymore. And I would challenge everyone who is on current Blizzard services to, to, to stay away from this, all right? Because at the end of the day, if you want things to change, you're going to have to put in some fucking effort. Ladies and gentlemen, there's plenty of other game developers and publishers out there that won't cater to this crap. Go support them, but don't support Activision and Blizzard. These guys... Not only have they have they not only have they done that whole year exclusivity nonsense, but this is a far more egregious mistake for me. You should have stood by and challenged for your freedoms rather than sided with just you know one one check here and there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am censored.